everyone welcome to the Jurassic Park collection. We finally caught him. After so long, we finally captured him. This guy is pure evil. He was made just to be evil and for the sole purpose of being evil. Do you want to meet him? Here he is, the Indoraptor. Have I mentioned this guy is pure evil? Let's take a closer look. Okay, I am not going to talk like that during the whole review. Here we have our dear in the raptor this guy is supposed to be the villain of the new movie i still don't know what his role is um the only thing we know is that this guy is the first male created by dr wu for whatever reason it still hasn't been explained yet of course we still have to watch the movie right so this guy from the box looks really good um, the, co the black color is really interesting let me focus as you can see he shines a lot and it really reminds me of a snake uh, skin which I believe is the goal here because um, in the trailer we saw its skin and it's supposed to be like this, like kind of really shiny. I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, let's look at the box. Here's the interrupter like climbing the cage. And something interesting I want to note is that this is the only one that has a different background. Every other dinosaur we have seen so far has the volcano background. It's really orange and red. And this one is blue with rain. And I think that's a little hint of when we're actually gonna be seeing him during the movie. Okay. Here he is, climbing the stairs, the cage, whatever. Here it says, super pausable or super articulado. Which means it has a lot of articulation, a lot of art movement points. Here it says, in the raptor. No need for translations there. Our friends Owen and Blue, the cage, and as we, as I explained already, the the blue rainy background, the Jurassic World logo without the Fallen Kingdom, still for whatever reason. Okay, here on the side is, um, I think this is supposed to be the rest of the cage, or something. This could also be a ladder. I. I really don't know. As you can, we can actually see him right here and move a little bit of his head. It's already a little bit articulated right here in the box, but I, I don't want to move him too much right here. Um, here's the back of the box with some interesting pictures of the in the raptor. Let's take a little closer look. we can see a beautiful picture of the Indoraptor. It says movie authentic possibility. Auténticas poses de película. Um, no, I'm not sure what they meant by that. We can see the whole dinosaur here. And here's another interesting picture right here of the Indoraptor. He really does, does look evil, doesn't he? Okay, you 
you can see his huge claws. Okay, down here is um, Claire with the gyrosphere. As you can see, the gyrosphere is a little bit broken. I still don't have that one. And here we have our friends Owen and Blue. Contains one toy, blah, 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 all the good stuff. Here on the other side is the rest of the cage. I'm assuming it's a cage. And up here, you can see the box is, has all this little dent right here. So you can actually see the way the Indoraptor is climbing the, the cage. This looks really cool. Well, in my opinion, it looks really cool. So, let's get this bad boy out of the box, shall we? Okay, so here he is. This guy wasn't as hard to put its tail as the Mosasaurus. As you can see, this guy does have a ton of articulation. It's ridiculous. Like, really, really a lot of articulation. They were not kidding. Okay, let's try to put it in more. Interesting pose. Of course, I am always struggling with standing my toys up with my little green carpet. But there it is. This guy looks really good. I'm a little bit amazed, as a matter of fact. As, as we've seen, this he has a lot of articulation. You can move 
him like a lot and in the box there was this pose I think open the legs like this, I think, put it still up, and now it looks like a lizard. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing this right. <laughs> Are the hair supposed to go like this on the side? I don't know. <laughs> okay, good thing he is really posable. He can actually get into position instead of falling down <laughs> that's that's always good okay let's get a closer look to this guy okay look at that sculpt I'm really liking the fact that he's so shiny. Really, that reminds me of a snake skin. I think that was the goal here, but it's really interesting. It's really different from anything we have seen before. It almost seems like he, this guy is wet all the time. Well, as you can see this beautiful detail, all these little scales. I'm not too fond of this red thingy on his eye. Almost look like he's going Super Saiyan or something with this glow, whatever. Look at the top of his head. This is definitely, definitely some snake inspiration here. No doubt about that. You can see he can open and close his mouth, but for some reason this is really hard. Like, I'm really pushing and it's really hard to put it back there. Oh, sorry. Unlike any other dinosaurs, this is much harder to put back there. Let's look at its mouth. A ton of detail went into this guy. Although I'm not too fond of the whole thing with the teeth all outside, it's so weird, but it's okay, he looks bad, really, really evil. Here's this um, proto feathers, I think they are cool like that. Like the Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptors had here on the back of its head. They are super soft, you can see how, how I'm moving them. They are soft rubber, so kids won't get hurt with it. I'm really liking the, the golden detail here. It gives him some personality. And up here we have like, like larger scales. Almost like dragon scales, don't you think? But only here. They, go, they don't go up here nor down here, so 
Uh, this could have been better, a better transition, but it looks good. I'm liking the fact that there's gold paint even under here, even though you can see the where it stops. But that's because I have it all the way looking this way. But if you place it the way it's supposed to go, it, it looks like this. Really good. Here's the arm articulation. Some people were complaining about the fact that this shows. Uh, I don't care, it looks really good and it helps the toy move a lot better. I mean, look at that. He can put his arm very, very tall. So it's cool. Up here we have some other proto feathers, which are also very soft very very soft here we have more details on the sculpt this looks really good his belly look at the detail on the leg this is really good like ridiculously good then we can see how the the larger scales I was talking about follow here and they actually do go all the way here you can see them on the tail and I actually really like the fact that the gold stripe does go all the way here as well but doesn't go on the leg otherwise it would have, it would have looked weird you can see the rest of the scales here and um, here's the little part I had to assemble and you can see the gold stops here here's a little part I had to assemble is the the tail the rest of the tail this is really soft you can actually bend it a lot you can bend it a lot more and it's really really movable up here, down, sideways, it's really movable. I like it. Okay, let's continue taking a look, a closer look at this really bad guy. You can see its leg, it moves really far back. Its feet. Check out that claw it's ridiculously big here's on the other side you can see there's a lot of detail put in this into this guy a lot of love and I really like the articulation look how far, how far the leg goes like these guys can really almost stand up look at that Of course we don't like it like that, do we? Because that's not dinosaur-like. This guy also moves its legs like this way, like all the other dinosaurs in the line. As you can see he can put his hands all the way to the sides and now he can pretend he's flying. Whee! Or he can actually do the come at me, bro. <laughs> Shh. I am still not sure how this one goes. Oh, I think like that. Yeah, I think it goes like that. The the proto flares go down. Like that. Okay. Now it looks better. <laughs> you can see all the beautiful detail on the, its hands. I think that the, the feathers are supposed to go 
under the the arm but maybe I'm wrong but that's the way I'm going to leave them it looks better in my opinion and look at those hands unlike the rest of the regular raptors this guy has four fingers the regular raptors only have three long fingers this guy has a third almost thumb like finger okay okay let's see its neck under its neck because of the toy is so dark it's hard to see all the details I hope you can actually appreciate them in person this guy looks so much better I promise you can see his eye it again with all the red coloring and yes I am going to address the elephant in the room this guy looks a lot like a xenomorph like look at those arms these are exactly the same hands as a xenomorph and those really thin arms and black coloring and the fact that at least in the in the trailer he's always salivating it it's really similar I'm not too happy about that I think you could have you guys could have made a, a, a better dinosaur design I mean there's so many options why go for an uglier velociraptor um, I don't get it I, I'm not gonna criticize until I see the movie but so far from what I'm seeing this guy is just like an ugly velociraptor or a xenomorph meets Jurassic Park or something like that but nevertheless I'm talking about the toy not the design of the dinosaur even the design even if I don't like the design of the dinosaur but the toy is fantastic I'm, I'm not complaining this guy is incredibly fantastic he has a ton of articulation like ridiculously lot of articulation and you can actually make a lot of silly poses with this guy please tell me more this is so interesting Dr. Ellis Sattler compared to the Indoraptor. He looks so confused. Although this guy is really big because take in mind that the Kenner toys are larger than the Jurassic World toys. So that means that the Indoraptor is freaking huge. Like really really big compared to any other toys. Look at that. Because why not?
Here's the in the raptor code. If you want to use it, I'm going to use it right now on the app. Okay, he's fat. Overall, I'm liking this toy. I especially like the fact that it's so poseable. I've been having so much fun with him, as you can see. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Oh yeah. What is? Uh huh. Oh, tell me more. <laughs> but it's just for really silly fun I'm loving the fact that he's so poseable that he has so much beautiful detail like every single dinosaur in this line has been so well done I'm ridiculously amazed um, here he has like a little scratch I think this is supposed to be part of the of the toy you can see it Yeah, I think it's part of the seam of the toy. It's really, really bothering me, this. But whatever, I, I can live with it. Oh, yeah. I've been having so much fun making poses with this guy. The fact that his jaws close different different ways it's really really derpy like look at that it looks kind of derpy like that you just gotta put it in the right place and there you go still looks a little derpy but whatever it's a really evil toy remember Mm-hmm. I'm evil. Overall, I'm really liking this toy. I like the possibility, but unfortunately, I really don't like the design of the dinosaur, not of the toy. I mean of the dinosaur. I, I don't like the in the raptor like at all. But this guy, as a toy, I am just judging the toy. It's fantastic. It's really awesome. Um, there's nothing more you could ask in a toy. He has so much possibility. This guy is probably made mostly for collectors who really want to take a lot of pictures of it in different positions. And this guy is perfect to make dioramas in different poses. And uh, I think you can even make a little bit of stop motion with this guy. 
of course if you can manage to make him stand and, and be uh, don't fall because this guy has been falling all day long with me but I'm really liking it um, some people have been complaining about the fact that he's too shiny I don't mind I, I really like the fact that it looks like a, like a little snake I'm, I'm liking that, that on, on its, its skin it looks a little more menacing for some reason to me uh, I don't like the, his derpy face, the fact that his, his jaws doesn't close that well with each other and, but, and I especially don't like the fact that it looks so much like a xenomorph to me, this is like a missed opportunity to make an actually really amazing design for a dinosaur and they just went with an ugly blue and that was it. But overall, the toy is fantastic. I am giving it 7.5 out of 10 gold blooms. And I am sorry if you think this is too low to me. This is not my favorite and I think you can tell but I really like the possibility and it's a very nice addition to my collection. I like it and I suggest you go find yourself one too. Because this guy is a lot of fun. Even if you don't like the design like I did, um, he has a lot of possibility. You can move it all around a lot. You can move him a lot around. So he's perfect for pictures and for playing with it as well because unlike many other toys he has a lot of positions you can put him on um, of course I, I put him in a lot of stupid positions but for playtime this guy is fantastic and plus he, lo he looks like a villain come on this is called the villain dinosaur <laughs> of course he looks like a bad guy um, I'm really hoping we get surprised about him in the film but so far I'm not liking a villain dinosaur idea but that's just me however the toy is fantastic so go get it thank you all for watching and don't forget click like and subscribe if you want to see more Jurassic Park and the world videos in my channel coming soon and if you want to see more pictures of the toys and of my collection in general Please give us a like on our Facebook page, the link is below. Um, I try to post there daily, I post there pictures, more videos, some memes, comments and other stuff. And if you want to contact me, that's the way to go. And remember, if it's not Jurassic Park, it's extinct!